हेलो बच्चों कैसे हो होप एवरी वन इज़ फाइन एंड डूइंग ग्रेट मस्ती के साथ साथ पढ़ाई भी करते होंगे वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल विथलम अकेडमी विच इज़ एन ऑनलाइन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म माई सेल्फ भावेश पटेल आज हम लोग फ्रैक्शन के बारे में बात करेंगे इन माई अर्लियर वीडियोज वी लर्न मैनी थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू फ्रैक्शन लाइक टाइप्स कंपेरिजन एसेंडिंग एंड डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर एडिशन सब्ट्रेक्शन ऑल्सो मल्टीप्लीकेशन नाव इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न वन मोर ऑपरेशन दैट इज डिविजन ऑफ द फ्रैक्शन एट द सेम टाइम विल अंडरस्टैंड सम विल सॉल्व सम वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स टू सो लेट्स बिगिन वन टर्मिनोलॉजी वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स और रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ द नंबर्स सो देर आर वन वर्ड इनवर्स और रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ नंबर्स और मे बी सम फ्रैक्शन किसको इनवर्स और रेसिप्रोकल कहते हैं द डेफिनेशन इज इफ टू नंबर्स आर सच दैट देर मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज वन then each is known as multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the other. अगर दो numbers का product multiplication one होता है तो वो दोनों एक दूसरे के inverse multiplicative inverse है या हम लोग उसको reciprocal बोलेंगे Let's understand with some example. Suppose थर्टीन by सेवन If I multiply by seven by thirteen, then thirteen into seven upon seven by thirteen, thirteen gets cancelled. Seven get cancels. The answer is one. Same way, three into one by three, the answer will be one. Same way, if I multiply one with one, I will get the answer is one. so this 13 by 7 is a reciprocal of 7 by 13 or i will say 7 by 13 is a reciprocal of 13 by 7 ya 13 by 7 ka reciprocal 7 by 13 hai 3 ka reciprocal 1 by 3 hai ya 1 by 3 ka reciprocal 3 hai 1 ka reciprocal is 1 then what is the reciprocal of 0 so With which number I will multiply so that zero multiplied by that numbers equals to one. तो ऐसा कोई number exist करता नहीं है कि जिससे मैं multiply करूँ zero के साथ तो मुझे answer में एक मिले That's why the reciprocal of zero never exit does not exist. Remember that. But ये तो हो गया definitions. The important thing is how to find out या how to write. the reciprocal or inverse of some number or maybe some fraction so to find or write the multiplicative inverse or the reciprocal of a fraction or maybe a number we will interchange the denominator and numerator of that fraction interchange karenge numerator denominator ki jagah pe jayega denominator numerator ki jagah pe jayega let's understand with one example suppose 5 by 7 then the reciprocal of this 5 by 7 is 7 by 5 both are interchange numerator goes to the denominator denominator goes to the numerator same way suppose mix 1 2 by 15 to mix fraction hai to sabse pehle usko hum log convert karenge improper fraction that is 17 by 15 and the reciprocal of this 17 by 15 is 15 upon 17 For six, it is one upon six. So if you notice here, the reciprocal of proper fractions five by seven is seven by five improper fraction. So reciprocal of proper fraction is improper fraction. Same way, reciprocal of improper fraction is a proper fraction. Same way, reciprocal of mixed fractions. 
equivalent if i convert to this you know mixed fractions the equivalent will be improper fractions so the reciprocal of mixed fraction will be always always proper fraction same way reciprocal of proper fraction will be always improper or you can say mixed fraction because improper will be further converted to the improper same way the reciprocal of whole number is unique fraction unique fraction are those which have a numerator equals to 1 so 1 upon 6 yeah, 1 upon 3, yeah, 1 upon 5. Same with the reciprocal of unique fractions, 1 upon 7 is whole number. Remember this. Correct? So, reciprocal of whole number is unique fraction. And the reciprocal of the unit fraction is whole number. Now, let's do the operations divisions of a fractions with the fraction. So, to divide a fraction with another fraction, what we will do? We will multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. Let us understand with one example, 3 by 14 divided by 2 by 7. So, multiply the dividend. Dividend is 3 by 14. Usko hum log multiply karenge. Rather than division, we will multiply. Kisse? The reciprocal of the divisor. Divisor is 2 by 7. So, 2 by 7 ka reciprocal. So, in order to do division between these two, we will multiply the dividend with reciprocal of divisor. So, reciprocal of divisor, in this case, it is 2 by 7. 7 by 2 then. The reciprocal of 2 by 7 is 7 by 2. So, here next step will be 3 by 14 into reciprocal, that is 7 by 2. Now it's a multiplication. We have removed the sign of division. And multiplications we know. Multiplication of two numerators, uh, two uh, fractions is equals to multiplication of the numerators upon multiplication of the denominators. That's why 3 next step will be equals to 3 into 7 upon 14 into 2. Next step, rather than doing multiplication of numerators and denominators, that is 21 upon 42. Hum log kya karenge? Simplify karenge yehi pe. If I found some common factor. So yes, there is one common factor 7 and 14. 7 1 is a 7, 7 2 is a 14. So just cancel it out. It's an equivalent fraction. And hence then simplify. Next step will be 3 upon 2 into 2. That is 3 by 4, which is a proper fraction. Let's do one more. 14 1 upon 4 divided by 3 by 4. So to do the divisions of mixed fraction with the fraction. First of all, I will convert this mixed fractions into proper fractions. That is 14 4s are 56 plus 1. That is 57 by 4 divided by 3 by 4. Now to do divisions, 57 by 4 will be multiplied by reciprocal of 3 by 4. That is 4 by 3. So next step will be 57 by 4 into multiply 4 by 3 and then multiplication is very simple multiplications in of numerators so 57 into 4 upon 4 upon 3 do the simplification 4 4 get cancelled can we divide 57 by 3 what is the divisibility rule root for 3 just check my earlier video of divisibility rules The divisibility rule for 3 is summation of the digits, that is 5 plus 7, digits of the number, 57 is a number, so uske jo digits hai, 5, plus 5 and 7, usko sum karo, that is 12, each 12 is divided, divisible by 3, so yes, then 57 is also divisible by 3, 19, 3 is a 57, hence the answer will be 19. Up jitna jaldi divisibility rules achhi tarah se sikh loge aage mein numericals specifically divisions ka will be very easy correct let's do 
divisions between two mixed fractions 19 3 by 5 divided by 1 13 by 15 so 1 13 by 15 is a divisor which is a mixed fraction so first i will convert to improper fractions that is 15 ones are 15 plus 13 that is 28 upon 15 so 19 3 by 15 divided by 28 upon 15 and the reciprocal of this 28 upon 15 is 15 upon 28 so next step will be convert this mix to prop improper that is 19 5 is a 95 plus 3 98 upon 5 into reciprocal of this so 98 upon 5 multiply by 15 by 28 and hence 19 into 15 upon 5 into 28 5 is a common factor 5 ones are 5 5 3 is a 15 so just cancel it out now what is the common factor between this 98 and 28 2 because the last digit is even so we can divide both the numbers by 2 but what is the highest common factor so if you know the table up to 20 division or maybe multiply multiplications numericals will be easier to solve otherwise it becomes lengthier so here if you know the table of 14 14 2 is a 28 and 14 7 is a 98 so 14 is the highest common factor so 2 and then 7 now simplifications or further steps 7 into 3 upon 2 that is 21 upon 2 which is the improper fractions convert to mix 10 1 by 2 Next division of a fractions by a whole number. So fractions divided by whole number is equals to fractions multiplied by reciprocal of the whole number. That is same definitions if we want to do the divisions. We will multiply whom? Dividend co will multiply with the reciprocal of the divisor. This is a divisor whole number. So reciprocal of the whole number. So 7 upon 11 divided by 14. So we'll multiply dividend 7 by 11 multiply by reciprocal of this. Now the reciprocal of the whole number is unique fractions 1 upon 14. Correct. So 7 upon next step is equals to 7 upon 11 into 1 by 14. Now it's a multiplication. So 7 into 1 upon 11 into 14. 7 1 is a 7, 7 2 is a 14. So 1 into 1 upon 11 into 2. That is 1 by 22, which is a proper fraction. Let's do one more exercise between mix divided by whole. So 8 1 by 3 divided by 5. Correct? Convert this 8 1 by 3 into improper that is 25 by 3 divided by 5. Find out the reciprocal of 5 that is 1 by 5. Now to do division what we'll do? We'll multiply the dividend by reciprocal of divisor. So 25 by 3 into 1 upon 5. So next step 25 into 1 upon 3 into 5. 5 1s are 5 and 5 5s are 25. So answer will be 5 upon 3 which is an improper fraction convert to mix equals to 1 2 by 3. Now let's understand the division of a whole number by a fraction. So whole number divided by a fraction if you want to divide between these two then whole number into reciprocal of the fraction. It is one of the same. To do division, we will multiply the dividend that is a whole number with reciprocal of divisor that is reciprocal of fraction. So definition is same. 
that's the fundamental let's understand with the example 42 divided by 6 by 7 so 42 divided by 6 by 7 first we'll find out the reciprocal of 6 by 7 which is revisor and reciprocal of 6 by 7 is 7 by 6 so next step will be 42 multiplied by 7 by 6 equals to 42 into 7 upon 6 so 6 1s are 6 and 6 7s are Hence the answer is 49. Find 56 divided by 8 2 by 5. So this 8 2 by 5 is a mix. Convert that 8 2 by 5 into improper fractions. So 8 5 is a 40 plus 2, 42 by 5. 56 is a dividend. 42 by 5 is a divisors. So dividend will be multiplied by reciprocal of divisor. Reciprocal of divisor 42 by 5 equals to 5 by 42. Just interchange numerator and denominator. So 56 into 5 by 42 will be, next step is 56 into 5 upon 1 into 42. The highest common factor between 56 and 42 is 14. So 14 3s are 42 and 14 4s are 56. So 4 into 5 upon 3 equals to 20 by 3 which is the improper convert to mix that is 6 2 by 3. Same. Correct. Final answer should be in either proper fraction or mixed fraction. Never leave it to improper fraction. Let's do one more exercise. Write the 5 paisa as the fraction of rupees. 5 paisa ek rupee ka kaun sa fraction hai? So we know 1 rupee equals to 100 paisa. And to write the fractions, if you remember, fraction is the part of a whole. Numerator mein part aega, matlab 5 paisa upon whole. Whole is Denominator. Denominator may have 1 rupee. But if I write 5 paisa upon 1 rupee, then it is not the correct one because unit is, units are different. Numerator may paisa hai, denominator may rupee hai. So, wo nahi chalega. Dono ko mujhe same unit mein lana padega. That's why we know 1 rupee is equal to 100 paisa. So required fraction is 5 upon 100. Yeah, I will say 5 divided by 100. That means 5 into reciprocal of 100, that is 1 upon 100. So 5 upon 100, that is 1 by 20. So I will say 5 paisa is 1 by 20th fraction of a rupee. So these are the applications of fractions in day to day life. Suppose I will ask you 50 centimeter is a fraction of meter. Find out the 50 centimeter as the fraction of a meter. So 50 centimeter divided by 1 meter. So convert this 1 meter to 100. We know the relations 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter. So 50 centimeter upon 100 centimeter. So 50 by 100 is half. So we can say that 50 centimeter is half a fraction of a meter. Or I will say half of meter equals to 50 centimeter. Kaise? Toke half of meter, half of, of means multiply. We learn in the multiplications video. So half of meter, meter means 1. 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter. So half of 100 centimeter is how much? 50. 
So half of meter is equals to 50 centimeter. One fourth of meter equals to 25 centimeter. Or I will say 20 centimeter is equals to one fifth fraction of a meter. Correct? So this is the, you can see day to day applications as far as fractions are concerned. Now let's understand some word problems. If a car travels 283 1 by 2 km in 4 2 by 3 hours, how far does it go in 1 hour? Kya bolta hai ki car kuch kilometers travel kiya in some hours. To 1 hour mein kitna? So by understanding the numerical itself, we came to know that it's a division between kilometers travel divided by number of hours. So distance travel in kilometer is 283 half equals to 567 by 2. And the time taken to you know travel this distance is 4, 2 by 3 hours. That is equals to 14 by 3. That means distance travel in one hour equals to division of this two that is 567 by 2 divided by 14 by 3. To write down this statement is very important and to write this statement we have to understand what is being asked. Kuch kilometer car drive kiya hai? In few hours, so one hour me kitna. So first of all, what we will find out? 562 so and so kilometers divided by so and so hours. So mujhe per hour mil jayega. And then further, usko puchte ki bhai, how far does it go in 10 hours? Suppose. So fir mein ye per hour nikala, multiply by 10 kar dunga. Let us first find out per hour. And once this statement is written, the next steps are simple. If you know how to do, you know, uh, multiplications, divisions of uh, different fractions. So, here we have to division. So, what do we have to do? Multiplications by reciprocal of this. So, next step will be 562 into 2 multiply 567 by 2 multiply reciprocal 3 by 14 equals to 567 multiply by 3 numerator mein de upon denominator mein 2 into 4. So the highest common factor between this 567 and 14 is 14, 14, uh, 7, 7 2s are 14 and 81 7s are equals to 81 into 3 upon 2 into 2 that is 243 by 4 into now this is a you know uh, improper fractions. So convert to mix. So we will do the divisions between 243 divided by 4 and find out the quotient and the remainder. Correct? So we will utter the table 6, 24 is 24. As I said, if you want to solve the you know, divisions nu uh, numericals, your table up to 20 should be you know you should be remember those tables up to 20 if you can cannot up to 30 but yes you must up to 20 19 7s are 133 18 9s are 162 17 5s are 85 17 9s are 153 15 9s are 135 10 8s are 80 14 7s are 98 13 6s are 78 8 4s are 32 5 8s are 40 10 9s are 90 16 5s are 18 12 7s are 84. At least up to 20, you must remember. So 6 4s are 24. 0 difference between 24 minus 24. So bring this 3 downwards. So 0 3. Now 0 3 is lesser than 4. So what do I, what I will do? 
can i say it's a remainder three is a remainder yeah three is a remainder no doubt but what is a quotient can i say six as a quotient no we can't say then one more steps we have to follow even though this three is lesser than four still one step is remain that is here it's a zero so four zeros are zero now i will say three is a reminder here is also three is a reminder but if i don't follow these steps the quotient will remain six but the right answer is it is 60 hence 243 by 4 is equals to 63 by 4 and the answer statement is the distance traveled by car in one hour is equal to 63 by 4 kilometers now suppose it is being asked how much, how far does it go in 10 hours then yes find out 243 by 4 this this much distance car has traveled in one hour now if i want to find out in eight hours or ten hours i will multiply by ten i will multiply by eight so four to the eight so two four to three into two four eighty six kilometer it will travel simple so this is how we can solve now let's understand one more how many pieces of land, 1, 3 by 4 meters can be cut from a ribbon of length, third, 63 meters? A ribbon hai, jiske length 63 meters hai, usme se mujhe kuch pieces having some length, 1, 3 by 4 meters ki kaatna hai. To aisa kis, kitna piece banenge? So obviously it's a question, it's a numerical of division. Total length divided by length of the piece will give you number of piece. So length of the ribbon in meter 63 meters land of the each piece each piece which i want to cut is 1 3 by 4 in meter that is equals to 7 by 4 so number of pieces form equals to total length divided by each length of the piece that is 63 divided by 7 by 4 so this statement is important now we learned 63 divided by 7 by 4 karna hai 63 will be multiplied by reciprocal of this that is 4 by 7 now 63 into 4 upon 7 now find out the common highest common factor so 7 1 the 7 9 7 the 63 that is equals to 36 and then write down the statement answer statement the given length of the ribbon can be cut into 36 numbers pieces of equal length or i will say 36 pieces of land 1 3 by 4 meters can be cut from a ribbon of length 63 meters remove the question mark and make it full stop let's do one more the product of two fraction is 9 3 by 5 if one of the fraction is 9 3 by 7 find the other correct so product of two fractions matlab ki multiplications of two fractions answer is this and wo ek, usme se ek fractions 9 3 by 7 hai to dusra find out karo so to get the second one we know ki bhai product itna hai aur usme se ek ye hai find out dusra karna hai to product divided by this is the answer correct let's solve see the other fraction will be product divided by 9 3 by 7 the another fractions so product 9 5 is a uh, 9 3 by 5 now both are mixed so first convert to improper 9 5 is a 45 plus 3 48 by 5 and 9 7 is a 63 plus 3 66 divided by 7 now to do further dividend will be multiplied by reciprocal of divisor that is 48 by 5 into 7 by 66 so next step is 48 into 7 upon 5 multiplied by 16 66 6 is a common factor so 11 6 are and 
8 6 is 48, 11 6 is 66. Now there is no common factor. So 8 into 7 that is 56 upon 5 into 11 that is 55. It's a improper fraction. So convert to mix 55 ones are and the remainder is 1. 56 minus 55. So the answer will be 1, 1 by 15. And the answer statement will be the other fraction is 1, 1 by 55. So this is how you can solve the uh, word problems too. Now, let's summarize few things which we have to remember as far as division of the fractions are concerned. Reciprocal of fraction is interchange that means denominator will become numerator and numerator will become denominator. The product of the fraction and the reciprocal is 1. Usi ko dhom reciprocal bolte ki do numbers ka agar multiplication is 1 then it is known as the reciprocal of each other. 0 has no reciprocal. Because there is no number which will be multiplied with 0 will give you answer 1. That's why reciprocal of 0 does not exist. And to divide the given fraction by another fraction, the process is multiply the dividend, yeah, the first fraction, your first whole number with the reciprocal of the second, reciprocal of divisor. whether it's a whole number or whether it's a fraction, whether it's a mixed fractions, whatever it may be. So these are the things which we have to remember and the one thing which you should keep, always keep in mind, never forget, is the how do we do the division. To divide between fractions, we will multiply first fractions with the reciprocal of second. Yeah, will multiply dividend by reciprocal of divisor. This you should never ever forget. So that's all about division of fractions from my side. Now I will give some practice worksheet. You do this so that you will be acquainted and you can be able to solve many numericals on fractions division of fraction is there. So question number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Same way question number 6, 7, 8. Solve it and you can submit or comment the answer in our comment section. So that's all about from that's all from my side as far as division of fractions is concerned. Once again, myself Bhavesh Patel from Mithilam Academy. You can reach us for any query or doubt through mail. Our My mail ID is Mithilam Academy at the rate gmail.com. Mithilam Academy, V I W T H A L M A C A. D E M Y. So thank you and all the best.